Hey guys, Ruben here. I'm going to show you today the Impulse 61 that I have on the desk right here today. Before I go into the keyboard, uh, the media controller, I'm going to show you the box that comes with it. Uh, there you go. This is the Impulse 61 by Novation. And it's simply one of the best media controllers out there. And I'll show you why in a moment, right? Uh, well, just with any other box, it comes very, very normal. This away. And uh, it comes with the USB cable that will connect behind the media controller and also a set of your manuals, USB manuals, instructions, safety precautions. And the one important thing here is the license key to getting the additive keys and loop masters uh, samples, things like that. So you want to go and download. There's no series that comes with it. You have to actually download them yourself and use the serial code number here. All right, I'm going to throw this all inside here. And let's look at the keyboard right now, right? So before I show you the the full functions of the keyboard here, I'm going to show you behind of the keyboard and show you why this keyboard is very flexible in terms of uh, performance, playability, and scalability or you know if you want to future-proof the keyboard, alright? So if you look behind, you can see that we have the user's USB that connects to your computer, the sustain pedal, and we also have an expression pedal for a volume foot pedal or something like that if you want to control different expressions. And what's important here is we have MIDI out and also MIDI in. And that means you can control other scenes or other hardware using this MIDI controller. And that's very, very flexible in terms of uh, using it as a keyboard for multiple usage other than just you know playing with your computer uh, and controlling a DAW with it. All right, let's go push back this a little. And um, alright, so in front of the keyboard right here, you can see that we have our usual uh, pitch, right? Our usual pitch, our usual modulation, the transpose and the octave buttons. Very simple, alright? And then we have our, our faders, which controls the volume. You can change this to the different mixers and all that. And we have our solo or mute buttons. You can change from solo to mute, uh, playing around with them, alright? So, coming up here, we have an LCD screen to tell you what's going on, the settings, and all this one uh, to actually edit the settings. So, you can actually split the keyboards to both sides using the keyboard controls here. Um, the controls will control the mappings of the pads and also of the faders. And uh, you can also change the zones of the keyboards. So, you can like split the keyboard into two and play in two different parts, two different instruments, and a lot more. Right. So, here we have your transport window, your transport bar where you can play, pause, uh, record it, no matter what you want to do. And we have here the plug-in um, automaps function, which actually automaps to your plug-in immediately. So using these buttons here, you can actually control your mixer, or you can also control your plug-ins. Alright, and we have the very standard um, pads here, which are you know, super useful and very responsive. Alright, and then we have the rows and we have the applicators, which I won't go into this this time, but this will show you that you have a lot of features on this keyboard. Alright, so I'm going to play a little thing just as usual, and this will show you how the keyboard works in a moment, and let's get to that. Alright, so right now, I'm going to play on the keyboard and show you how responsive it is. So, the keys here, um, they look like a piano, they are piano style keys, but they are not hammer touch keys, right? They are semi-weighted, but at the same time, they are very playable. Alright, so they are very playable, very nice to touch, and they feel really, really solid. Uh, you can take this in, the, in your studio or even on stage. Alright, so the next thing is uh, we have also the pads as well. And they are by far one of the most responsive pads I've played on a MIDI controller keyboard. So the response very well to what I'm doing. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a little, short little loop here on the DAW and record it down to show you in a live situation how I will use it. Alright, so I'm going to quickly record something simple. Alright, you caught me making a mistake there. Okay. 
sanitize it very quick and we have something usable. Anyway, the little mistake there sounds something usable, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay, so what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a base, a sidechain base. All right, and put it inside what I've just recorded. But what's so special about this keyboard right here is that we can control the plugins through these maps itself. And this actually auto maps right into the plugin that we have on here, right? So if you look at my screen right here, you can see if I turn the dials, it also would follow. And this is actually mapped, right? Automatically by the keyboard itself. Chorus. If you want to go like symmetry. Anyway, we can use that and play it in a live situation or even in a studio situation. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do something very simple. Alright, so let's go. Three, four. So you can play with it, you know, move around, do some automations with it, and it's really cool. And uh, you can do a lot of expressions with this, right? Anyway, not the best song out there, but this is show you what it can do. All right, one more thing I want to show you is that the keys has aftertouch to it. So let's watch this, right? If I play and I depress the key harder. See that? So I go like... So the aftertouch function on the keyboard is something that you need to master and practice on to get really used and get the hang of it, right? So in summary, right, the keyboard is one of the most playable uh, keyboard I've played on MIDI controllers. And if you're someone who is looking for all the functions from the faders to control your DAW with the faders, the transport buttons, to change the pads, you want pads to play on, you want the rolls, uh, up pegados, up together, and also to control your plugins and mixers with the knobs and all that, then this is the ultimate keyboard uh, MIDI controller that you can find out there in the market. One of the best, and one of its best in its price as well, in its given its price range. All right, so what do you think about the keyboard, the Impulse 61 by Novation? Now, the last thing to note is that there is a 25 key, 49 key, and a 61 key variant. The only difference between all of that is that the 25 key variant, of course, it's smaller in size, uh, sacrifices the fader to be portable and to be able to be, be carried anywhere you go, whether it's live or in the studio, right? So what do you think about the Innovation Impulse 61 or the Impulse series um, by Innovation? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have questions again, go ahead and ask me. I'll be back to answer you. Thanks.